I'm technical editor Jason Lumberg, and welcome to the 50th episode of ECN's Engineering Update. In this week's episode, deploying maritime drones, solar panels blinding pilots, and detecting road rage using facial recognition. Now, you didn't really think the Flyboys would get to play with all the unmanned toys, did you? The Navy has its own plans to deploy drones and other surveillance technology that can function in a maritime environment. DARPA, the R&D segment of the DoD, has thrown buckets of money at several amphibious programs including Hydra, an underwater truck for ferrying unmanned submarines and aerial drones, and the Upward Falling Payloads program. The Hydra will be a sort of launching grounds or underwater aircraft carrier for drones of various sorts. The idea would be to act as a sort of force multiplier, helping the military deal with asymmetrical threats and add cost-effective undersea support when and where it's needed. Funding for the Hydra program is set to double from $14.9 million to $29.9 million. Meanwhile, the Upward Falling Payloads program, which and I quote, will develop forward deployed drones that provide non-lethal effects or situational awareness over large maritime areas, will receive a 59% funding increase from 11.9 million to nearly 19 million. As the wars in the Middle East wind down, our commitments anyway, and our attention turns to China and its rising influence in the Pacific and other sea lanes, these naval drones will be especially important. We've talked a lot on Engineering Update and ECNMag.com about the potential and the pitfalls of solar power. Most critics point to the prohibitive cost of building and installing the panels, the general inefficiency, and even the large area of land necessary to build useful solar farms as reasons that solar power isn't going to cut it. But this week, the Clark County Department of Aviation in Nevada found one more thing to complain about. According to the letter which was sent to the designers of the Evenpot Solar Power Plant near Las Vegas, the panels were nearly blinding pilots flying above. One pilot, flying from the northwest to the southwest of the planet, called the reflection nearly blinding, and another described it like looking into the sun. Most pilots can't identify exactly what's blinding them, when in fact it's the 170,000 mirrors that are used to focus sunlight on three 45-foot towers that collect the energy. Apparently, the reflection is so powerful it is capable of frying unsuspecting birds. In fact, the reflection is the reason that plans for other similar solar power plants have been scrapped. So far, despite numerous complaints that started before the plant even opened, no one is sure exactly how to fix the issue. But for the sake of all the birds in the sky, let's hope they figure it out soon. Sophisticated automotive technology can help identify elevated blood alcohol levels, prevent collisions, and beep at you incessantly when you get to put on your seatbelt. But what about the towering road rage? The EPFL, an engineering school based in Europe, have developed an onboard emotion detector which analyzes facial expressions. While such technology can be used for law enforcement or consumer purposes, video games for example, this particular application uses an infrared camera behind the steering wheel to check for anger and disgust, two common motions associated with road rage. Well, that and going completely nuts. The system had to be taught to differentiate between emotions by observing a series of photographs of the subject. It then took in varied emotions using videos and then tested its findings on the open road. In the majority of cases, the system could identify irritation, but the challenge lies in individual variances. Everyone expresses their anger differently. The goal is to create a self-taught human-machine interface so the system can learn in real time. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn and leave feedback. For the ECN channel, I'm Jason Lumberg and thanks for watching.